good morning good afternoon good evening so today i got galaxy note 20 ultra and uh, i have flashed the gsi rom evolution x on the galaxy note 20 ultra this is the evolution x gsi let me go to about device and uh, you can see on the screen evolution x gsi and uh, if i tap the android 15 so this is what i got on my mobile phone android 15 evolution x version 10.3 latest one you can see fifth fab 2025 android security update and uh, the build maintainer right so as you know that the aosp rom is faster than the stock firmware of the one ui so this rom comes with the gaps google application we don't have to flash the gaps separately we can straightly open the google play store and we can straightly start downloading the applications from the play store so uh, things are working fine uh, yes and uh, i checked the bluetooth connectivity the bluetooth device is also getting connected with this rom no issue yes the bluetooth is already fixed in this rom and yes we are getting evolver like the modification section where we can modify the rom the way we like yes this is the fastest rom and uh, definitely if you are a flashaholic if you flash the rom you will definitely be getting a speed and a good battery life in case if you have a galaxy note 20 ultra i'm sorry for the lines that i'm getting on my mobile phone i will try to change it but it is very costly control center flashlight working we can edit the control center whatever widget you like to remove or you like to add wallpaper in style from where we can modify the uh, home screen and the lock screen unfortunately the fingerprint scanner is not coming with this rom but the face unlocking is working wow you can see the speed the camera application is working the rear camera and the front camera we can take the pictures we can record videos but small issue is recording video sound is having issues in case if you are interested to flash this rom on your galaxy note 20 ultra exynos 1 then watch the further video before going ahead do not forget to like the video and do not forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't yet thank you so much so we have to download these files and the links are provided in my video description after downloading the evolution x rom we have to extract the rom first and then open the extracted folder you will see the image file and we have to download the audin and the Odin pack file this is currently for the n985f i will provide the other exynos variant model Odin pack also in my video description so you need to check the model number of your mobile phone then accordingly download the Odin pack right so extract the Odin, then open the extracted folder of the Odin double click odin to open it click ok and on odin click ap go to the downloaded folder double click to select the odin pack file odin is ready now moving towards my mobile phone yes the mobile phone requires an unlock bootloader to get any custom rom now this is very important that if you are trying to flash any gsi rom i will advise to flash the stock firmware first the latest one and then you can uh, flash the gsi rom to avoid issues well i was having gsi rom uh, before but now my mobile phone is back to the stock latest firmware and we have to do few steps before starting the flashing procedure what are those first of all connect internet on your mobile phone then go to settings and uh, if you are having samsung account or google account you need to sync your google account must remove it you need to sync your samsung account in case and must remove it to avoid issues i am telling you must remove both account in case if you are having it right well my mobile phone is having one ui version 5.1 and write 13 this is the build number the current latest build number on my mobile phone now i have to tap the build number for seven times one two three four five six seven so the developer mode will be turned on 
we'll go back to settings and then we'll go to developer option and you will see oem unlocking you must turn on the oem unlocking and you must see that oem unlocking is prominent here if it is missing then you need to check the internet connectivity if the internet is connected and you will see after one minute we'll go back to developer option you will see definitely oem unlocking will be back so must turn it on check the mobile phone battery it must be charged you need to save all the internal storage data the data will get formatted better to save all the data in case you have done all these things then you can simply power off the mobile phone this procedure requires data cable and a computer always use a good quality data cable for data transferring and for flashing or charging the mobile phone now when mobile phone gets power off totally now we have to boot the mobile phone into ordin mode you need to check the other side of the disk data cable must be connected with computer you need to press and hold the volume up key volume down key press it hold and connect the data cable when you see warning screen release both keys now here my mobile phone bootloader is already unlocked in case if your mobile phone bootloader is not unlocked this is the screen from where we can go to the unlock bootloader screen and we can unlock the bootloader now on this warning screen press the volume up key once to boot the mobile phone into ordin mode now you need to check that the frp lock must be off oem lock must be off in a brackets u which means that the bootloader is unlocked on my computer screen Odin detected the mobile phone because I have installed the Samsung USB Android drivers already on my windows on the Odin go to options and take the auto reboot go back to log and then click start to start flushing the Odin pack file well it is done when you see pass message exit the Odin and go back to downloaded folder and coming back towards the mobile phone the mobile phone is still booted into Odin mode because I untick the auto reboot now check the data cable must be connected with mobile phone we have to boot the mobile phone from Odin mode to custom recovery we have to press the volume up key volume down key and power key all three keys at same time press it hold when mobile phone restart release the volume down key first then wait when mobile phone vibrates release the power key wait do not release the volume up key one two three four five and release the volume up key now and wait the mobile phone will boot into custom recovery if mobile phone restart do not worry it will boot into custom recovery because if your mobile phone is having a stock firmware or was having a stock firmware this thing will happen for the first time you can see that pitch black recovery project appears on my mobile phone now first of all when you see the the custom recovery screen tap wipe then tap format data and type y e s then tap here do the formatting data first when done then go back to main screen tap the power button here this one and tap reboot to recovery definitely you will see that the internal storage will get pop up on your computer screen go back to download it more folder and uh, open the extracted folder of the rom file copy the system image file the uh, rom file from the downloaded folder and then go to the internal storage of your mobile phone open the internal storage paste the rom file the gsc rom file on the internal storage of the mobile phone this will take a little time so we have to wait here now once the file got copied then we are done from the computer now coming back towards the mobile phone first of all i will disconnect the cable from the mobile phone press the power button to unlock the pitch black recovery and then simply tap install select the file that i just copied by tapping on it and then we need to put a tick sign on system image this one and then swipe to start flushing 
the flashing will not take that much time just wait here but you can see that it is showing image flash completed wow right and simply tap reboot system now the mobile phone will hold for few seconds on the samsung galaxy note 20 ultra boot logo and then it will start booting to the evolution next gsi rom finally first boot completed i will complete the setup screen so this is the gsi rom and so we have to fix the resolution manually by going to settings then to display and then go to display size and text and i can uh, just tap the plus here to change the screen size well if you like this one just stick with it otherwise i will go i will tap the plus sign once again well this one is good for me right and i will change the screen time out also and uh, as you can see that the rom got flash perfectly smoothly we are getting audio effects we are getting this application uh, built in and we are getting basic call recorder also which will record all the calls automatically and we are getting the caps also google play store and photos these are the applications that coming built in with the rom we'll go to settings then we'll go to about device and same android 15 this one is uh, evolution x gsi rom evolution x version is 10.3 fifth app 2025 bsband and build number thanks to the developer who put the rom for the galaxy note 20 ultra well you can flash the rom on other devices also but i didn't try on the other devices i just try on the galaxy note 20 ultra thank you for watching the video we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye